Let's try these examples for the design of the pet footing. It is given that the asia force in the form of GK and QKs are 600 kN and 450 kN respectively. The design life is 50 years. The exposure class is XC2. The size of the columns is 300 x 300 mm. The concrete grade is 25, steel grade 500. The concrete weight is 25 kN per meter square. The proposed bar size is 16 mm and the soil bearing capacity will be 200 N per mm square. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. To solve these questions, you may refers to the formulas given in these two slides. As the calculation steps here seems to be quite lengthy, I use a spreadsheet to help me to generate the results. The concrete grade is 25, steel grade 500, exposure class XC2, fire resistance 1 hour, Design life 50 years, column size 300 x 300, the bar size for the main and secondary bar will be 16 nm. The loops are given as GK and QK of 600 and 450 kN respectively. The factor of safety for the ultimate limit state it will be 1.35 and 1.5 for GK and QK. And there is no moment adding on the member. The unit weight of the concrete is 25 kN per meter cube, and the soil bearing capacity is 200 kN per meter square. Based on the loading given here, your ultimate load it will be equals to 1.35 GK plus 1.5 QK which is the multiplications of this and this plus this and this. Refers to these formulas to determine the concrete cover. The concrete cover will be equals to C mean plus theta C dv. The C mean here is determined by the bar size which is 16, determined by the environmental conditions which you can refer to table 4.4n. This is table 4.4n. It is given that the exposure class is XC2. That means we are looking at this column. And normally we'll define it as the structural class S4. Therefore, C mean durability will be equal to 25. And the third component will be 10 mm. The larger value of this tree, which is 16, 25, and 10, will give you the C mean equals to 25. C deviate will be equals to 10 mm. That gives you 25 plus 10 mm equals to 35 mm. Your concrete cover now is 35 mm. Next, you will need to determine the areas of the pet footing. For you to determine the area of the pet footing, you will need to determine the load in terms of serviceability limit state. With that, your Asia load now is determined by summations of the GK and QK. You will need to consider the same weight of the pet foundations, which in this case, we assume that 10% of this load will be the weight of the pet footing. Therefore, your areas of the pet footing will be equal to 1.1 times the Asia load divided by allowable stress of the soil. 
This allowable bearing stress of the soil is defined as 200 kilonewton per meter square as given in the questions. Based on the calculation here, we obtain the minimum amount of area will be equals to 5.78 meters square. Next, you propose the size of the pad footing. Assuming you use 2.5 meter and 2.5 meter for the square base, the square base is selected because there is no moment acting on the pad footing. You will need to also define the height of the footing, which is the HF of the footing. You can use these formulas for you to determine the depth of the footing. Add up with the size of reinforcement bar and the cover, you will be able to define the HF. In this case, I just simply adopt 450 mm for the height of the footing. Next, you will have to check the dimensions whether it is acceptable. The proposed size of the pad footing will give you a contact surface area of 6.25 meters square. From the calculation here, it is required to be 5.78. The provided area is now greater than the required area. That means the proposed area is acceptable. Also, you will need to check the self-weight of the member. You assume it to be 10% of the Asia loot, which is about 105 kN. Based on the calculation here, which is defined by the volume of the pack foundations to be multiplied with the unit weight of the concrete of 25 kN per meter cube. The cell weight of the pack foundations is 70.3 kN, which is slightly lesser than the estimated 10% of the Asia loads. This is considered acceptable. In the case that your self weight is greater than your estimated size, there is a possibility that you underestimated the area of the pad footing required, as the total Asia loop might eventually be greater than that. It would be a good practice for you to increase the assumed size of the pad foundations in terms of the load and then we estimate the area again. Since that this example only constitute of vertical load, we will assume that the bearing pressure generated by the soil will be uniform throughout the base. The bearing stress here can be quantified from this formula which is determined by the vertical load plus the weight of the base divided by the area of the base. This Asia load here is defined by the service limit state here because we want to check whether the bearing pressure is sufficient. You can adopt a standard formula for this, knowing that the M here will be equal to zero, there will be no component of MY per I. The soil pressure now is found to be 179.2, which is less than 200. That means the design is acceptable.